Almost half of the entire world subscribe to the sacred Abrahamic tradition. The three major world religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, all profess a deep reverence for the teachings of Ibrahim. In the Islamic tradition, he is considered the second messenger of great resolve, Noah being the first. The 14th chapter of the Holy Quran is named after him. He is praised throughout the Quran as a man of unwavering devotion and a monotheist of the highest caliber. He was honored to such an extent that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala conferred upon him the honorific title of Khalilullah, meaning the intimate friend of God. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah 4 verse 125 says, Khalila." And God did take Ibrahim for an intimate friend. But the question is, my dear brothers and sisters, how did Ibrahim السلام, earn this great distinction? What did he do to gain this eternal honor of being the friend of God? It is narrated that Rasulullah in one tradition explains when he says, the Holy Prophet explaining why Ibrahim was granted this high station, he says God took Ibrahim as an intimate friend only because of his feeding to others and offering prayers in the night while people were asleep. It is narrated that on the final day of his life, the angel of death came to take his soul. Ibrahim السلام, expressed a bit of reluctance. He says to the angel of death, Have you ever seen a friend who takes the life of a friend? I am the friend of God. How could a friend take the life of a friend? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals to Ibrahim saying, Have you ever seen a lover who dislikes meeting with his beloved? Ibrahim السلام, smiled deeply, surrendered his soul, and returned to the Lord of the worlds. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to inspire us to follow in the footsteps of Ibrahim, to be among those who feed the poor during the day and stand in worship at night. وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين